Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sports Fall Jersey. Joe Archino back here and the Olympics are over but the expectations for almost all the athletes obviously can't be higher and Neymar Jr. in Brazil just the same as it is for everyone else. The pressure just put on them at an even more catastrophic level just because they're hosting the competition. Soccer is something that they take immense pride in and they had to deliver the goal there and they absolutely did and I think the way that it finished with Neymar getting the winning penalty kick to give Brazil the gold. Really, that's kind of a testament to where he's gone. And I think, to me, Neymar was already knocking on the doorstep of becoming the next great best player in the world. And he's already won. It, to me, the top four players in the world, I think undisputed, are obviously Messi. Everybody's going to have their own version. Is it Messi or Ronaldo? But I have Messi one, Ronaldo two, and then you ask me on a different day of the week, I'll tell you it's Suarez at three or it's Neymar at three. Um, but I think those four guys right there are undisputed, the best guys. And then you have the Gareth Bales and the Sergio Agueros and other guys like that who've fallen after that. But to me, there's no question that Neymar, at only 24 years old, took this step to become the next best player in the world when he sealed the gold. That was already his 19th major trophy winning something during his career at 24 years old. And that really speaks volumes to what he has done, the amount that he's been able to win at such a young age. And again, he's only going to get better. We look at Messi, he's 29. He's still got plenty of good football left in him. Ronaldo is 31. He's still got plenty left in him too, but you kind of look at Messi or Ronaldo, and as they continue to move up and move up in age, Neymar still not, hasn't even hit that really peaky. I mean, he's going to continue to just grow and grow and grow. And I think that's the reason why when Messi and Ronaldo are continuing to kind of move on the way out, Neymar is only going to solidify himself as the best player in the world. And I think the one thing that to me was missing before I could declare that for Neymar was his leadership. And I think we've, we haven't really seen leadership be an issue with him with Barcelona because he's not really the guy who's expected to carry that burden. It falls more to Messi and more to Suarez, more to Iniesta, the veterans on that club. But at the, at the country level, Neymar has been expected to carry more of a leadership role. And I think we look at Copa America the last two summers and he has really struggled with that. Not in the sense of just being a bad leader to his teammates, but I think sometimes his his lack of being composed and getting easily frustrated when things didn't go well, sometimes that didn't send the right message to me as a leader. And there were times during the Olympics where that could have been the case. We saw Brazil really struggle their first two matches, pulling down goals against Afghanistan and against South Africa. And those aren't two clubs that you should really be facing stiff competition against. But Brazil really did struggle to score. Neymar was getting a lot of good looks on, on net, but he would just wasn't able to put them away. And to me, when I saw him be composed and I didn't see him getting frustrated and I saw him cheering on his teammates and always pushing positivity, to me that showed tremendous growth. And overall from this Olympic experience, Neymar has grown as a leader tremendously and that's only going to help him out in the long run as he continues to grow and climb and get older and get more involved in this Barcelona squad. And Obviously, he signed his five-year extension at the start of the summer, so his future at the club really isn't in question and it's just going to be fun to continue to watch him grow because the way I kind of explain it is he's a guy who's already won what everything you basically can win and he's molded by Messi. I mean, you look at Neymar, just the way that he plays, the way he passes, the way he scores, he is a mini version of Messi and he's a younger version of Messi for that matter and he's learned so much and It'd be easy for a guy like Neymar to just be kind of have the ego get in the way and, and say, what do I need to learn from a guy like Messi? I'm as good as it gets right now, but he's always, they have such a good relationship. You can tell that he's always trying to learn off of what Messi can teach him, and it's only making him a better player. And I think that leadership component was the next element that he needed, and he certainly does have that now. And now we look at Neymar as he's set to make his debut in La Liga for the 2016 17 
2017 campaign and obviously he's going to need some time to recover from this summer Olympic experience but he is set to make a return of September 8th for Barcelona and I think you can basically book it that this is going to be his best season so far for Barcelona. I just think the experience he's gained, just the, the he'll be so pumped up and just so ready for this season. And last year, when Messi went down with his injury at the beginning of the year, was out seven to eight weeks. Never forget, Neymar led La Liga in goal scoring. So he stepped it up big time when Barca needed him last season. I think this year, with the leadership experience he gained, and just holding hoisting that gold medal you can just tell i mean he got a tattoo on, of the of the the gold olympics 2016 on himself so that shows you right there that this experience meant everything to him. I think it's only going to make him a better player. It's only going to make him a better leader. And it's only going to set him up to have his biggest season at the club level so far. Neymar is as good as it gets in one day. I think we will all be saying that he is the best player in the world. But there is still some time for that to happen. Until then, Jersey Joe Arcino here at the Sports Fault. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe Arcino and on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Arcino. And I'll catch everybody in the next episode.